Hello everybody, going to Twitter and explain the exercise review of Doctor Who. This is going to be season 12, episode 7. Can you hear me? And I'm actually a little bit prepared for this this time because I wrote some notes down on things to talk about rather than just ramble on like I normally would. So hopefully it will be a bit more structured this time around. And so, um, so yeah, basically the episode basically starts out with uh, the doctor taking everyone back, but she's like 90 minutes later or something like that. And when everyone leaves, like, the TARDIS goes black, and there's actually someone, like, like right behind the doctor. I guess she doesn't see who it is, or maybe she did. Just didn't bring it up. And, <clears throat> yeah, I found that quite interesting that the doctor actually didn't see who was there, but it was quite creepy, actually. Ugh. But, um, um, yeah, but, and meanwhile, everyone... Is basically visiting friends, you know, Yaz sees her sister, which I don't think we've seen in a while, or maybe we haven't seen her at all, I don't remember, I have to go back and watch season 11 again, someday. And, you know, Ryan's visiting, like, an old friend, and Graham is playing some cards with some people, mm -hmm. and, and it's a, like, basically at this time, like, and then, like, while they're all doing that, the doctor goes back to 1830 in Syria because apparently something's going on around there. And, <clears throat> and she, um, she, like, finds someone in distress, like, like, you know, like, scared of something. And, and while the doctor's looking her over, like, this beast thing, like, it kind of appears out of nowhere. And we did actually later find out that the beast was, like, made from the girl's dream that the doctor is trying to help and, you know, and all that good stuff. And and on the way to the TARDIS, the doctor actually finds a bit of fur to scan. And, like, when she scans it later, we find out that this this, like, beast doesn't exist, but we don't. Like, we don't know yet that the beast was actually created from her dream. Not the doctor's dream, the girl that she helped out of Syria. And it was at this time that Graham actually has kind of a vision of someone asking for help. And I think the thing, like, this woman actually says, Graham, help, or something like that. And, and then meanwhile, like, Ryan's friend has a, like, kind of a bad dream, and then this guy shows up, which was actually talked about a little bit earlier. Like, what he did was he held up his hand and his fingers detached and went into this, into Ryan's friend's ears and were, like, sucking out his bad dream, basically. And then Ryan comes in running, telling him to stop, and then he takes Ryan's friend, and that, oh, that's pretty bad. And so, yeah, and then, like, everyone, like, gets back to the TARDIS and they're trying to figure out what's going on. And then that's when the doctor hooks Graham up to some telepathic circuits so he can see where he is, where, like, where, where this woman asked for help. And he, <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. He's like, is this going to hurt? Well, no. Well, Maybe. And when she did the TARDIS exploded, and I thought, oh, he broke the TARDIS. <laughs> hmm. So the TARDIS reads the thing in Graham's head, you know, reads his memories, and they take him to, like, the space station or whatever it is, spaceship or something. And, like, they're looking on a screen, and they see that there's these two planets that are, like, really, really close to crashing, like, super close. They should have crashed by now, but they didn't. And then when they zoom in some more, they see this orb thing. And then that's when Graham realizes the woman that she saw in her dreams is trapped inside of that thing. And, like, so, 
But it was at the, but then, like around this time, the woman from Syria actually, you know, wanders off and sees the beast and, you know, Ryan's friend was there and some other people were there as well. And I guess she gets caught and then like, no, 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 actually, no, they don't get caught right, right away because Ryan, Ram, and Yaz, they show up and they actually get caught and they're entered into this dreamlike state where they all see basically their worst fears. And wow, that was very interesting. Yaz's was a little bit confusing to me, actually, because I didn't quite understand what was going on, but it has something to do with her sister and this police woman, which he found out later, actually helped Yaz out when she was, like, running away, basically. But anyway, and, like, Ryan has a dream about his friends, like, waiting forever for him to come back, and he never comes back, and they've been waiting for, like, their whole lives, and, like, Earth is on fire and everything. And Graham is just sitting in a hospital, and he actually sees his wife there, where he, and his wife tells him, you know, his cancer's come back, which is, you know, one of his worst fears, even though he doesn't, I don't think he talks about it much, but he does talk about it to the doctor at the end of the episode, and so, yeah, that was quite interesting. And it was at this point that the doctor, okay, so after this whole dream, things of people's worst fears, like the doctor finally realizes that they're all gone, and she's about to release the person in the orb, which was a bad mistake, because apparently the person in the orb is bad. Like, very bad. And we actually get this really neat, like, kind of star-animated sequence. Like, they give doc the doctor a kind of a dream about their history, and... What they basically did was they caused chaos on these two planets, and the planets started fighting each other. But then the planets decided to unify and then crash the planets into each other with the, with the woman in the middle in a prison. And that was intentional. So, like, they intentionally trapped her there. So, um, yeah, after this, uh, the dream... Like, the doctor has, like, another dream, and it didn't last very long, but it was something about the empty child, which is interesting, and I would really like to see more about what this is all about and see what's going on with it, because I'm very interested in this whole empty child and the lone Cyberman type thing, and, yeah, it's all very, very interesting. And meanwhile... Um, so these guys are basically just gods or demigods, and they decide to go to Earth to give everyone nightmares, and it was around this time that the Doctor had actually escaped and was getting everyone else, and the Doctor realizes that the, that the Beast was actually, you know, they finally realize that, the Doctor finally realizes that the Beast is actually... You know, the woman from Syria's dream, I can't really pronounce her name. It was from her dream, and she actually learned to face that fear, and actually learned how to control the beast because of that. And they used that control, plus some of the fingers, and they actually trapped the two demigods in the orb, again, between the two planets. So now they're stuck there forever. And I'm guessing they're probably going to return someday, but I'm not sure. Who knows if they will or not. And, um, yeah, it was actually quite nice, quite interesting. And, you know, at the end of this, everyone starts, you know, talking. And we get a bit of a flashback from three years ago when Yaz was running away and, you know, the cop talks to her. And later on, like, in present time, Yaz actually visits the, do visits the cop and, you know, yeah, it was all very, very interesting. And nearing the end of the episode, the things sounded like, okay, it sounded like Ryan wanted to leave. Like he wants to leave and not travel with the doctor anymore. Which, uh, 
you know, I imagine, I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but I imagine that at some point, you know, the companions will leave because, you know, it's the cycle of things. I mean, they've been with the Doctor so far for one whole season, and, you know, if they leave for another season, if they, like, decide to stay, you know, yay, they'll be a pretty long-running companions. I don't think we've had a companion last longer than two seasons, you know, continuously. I mean, with one exception, like, um, Roy and Amy, but anyway... Yeah, so this is all very interesting. I really did enjoy this episode a lot. Um, a lot of stuff going on. You know, we see more into the characters themselves, you know, the fears. You know, a little bit of backstory for Yaz, which was kind of interesting. You know, that she actually felt at one point like running away. At least that's what I think was going on there. Because I'm pretty sure, because, you know, her sister's the one that called to have her, you know, picked up or something. And, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And as for everyone else, like, you know, if Ryan leaves or if he wants to leave, you know, that's fine. You know, he might leave eventually or they all might just leave all at once eventually, leaving the doctor alone, which would be kind of sad. And I'm still wondering if they're eventually going to let the doctor if the doctor's finally going to tell them about what happened to her home planet, because I don't know why she's keeping that a secret from them. There's really no reason to. I mean, she could just tell them, and they could help her, you know? Like, that's something I'm just curious about. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on too much about that. Um, I'm just hoping that everybody enjoyed this episode, like I did. Let me know what y'all think, and I'll see y'all in my next reaction. Bye!